If there's anything in life that you don't currently have right now, it's because of who you are and how you think. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. Every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to push through it, push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's gonna take you to the next level. Like y'all running from pain, y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's gonna prepare you and take you to that next level? To grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. And the difference between a champion and someone who's forgotten is that a champion shows up. That's the only thing. Every day shows up. Gives himself a chance to make a difference. Because success doesn't know these things about cold or early or tired. It just knows if you showed up or not. For some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. You can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's cute to say it, but when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you've got all the books, you've got all the tapes, you've got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. It's gonna rain sometimes, I will. You're gonna feel discouraged sometimes, I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I will, I will. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. It's the whole process. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible, that some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. How did this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dreams. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, godlike feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Most people, they raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die.
They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear, the fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? These are not risk takers. You spend so much time with other people. You spend so much time trying to get people to like you. You know other people more than you know yourself. You studied them. You know about them. You want to hang out like them. You want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them. You don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. When you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you're following other people, as long as you're being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world. But you will be the best you could be. I'm telling you to define your value. That everybody won't see it that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that you are an uncommon breed. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry, people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams of the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. If you want to be more successful, if you want to have and do stuff you ain't never done before, number two, I'm asking you to invest in you. To invest in you. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. That you don't have to go through life being a victim. And even though you face disappointments, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it, period. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. And some of you right now, you want to be, you know what I'm saying, you want to go to the next level. I want to counsel, you know, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a doctor, listen to me. You can't get to that level. You can't get to the level economically where you want to be until you start investing in your mind. You're not reading books. I'm challenging y'all to go to conferences. I dare you to invest time. I dare you to be alone. I dare you to spend an hour getting to know yourself. When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, when you become an individual, what you do is you take yourself and you start separating yourself from other people. I tell you to get to a place where people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. I need you to invest in your mind. Invest in your mind. If you still talk about your dream, if you still talk about your goal, but you have not done anything, just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dream. After we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. You can live your dream! When you have a dream, it doesn't often come at you screaming in your face, dreams always come from behind you, not right between your eyes. It sneaks up on you. 
Sometimes a dream almost whispers, whispers, it never shouts, very hard to hear. So you have to, every day of your lives, be ready to hear what whispers in your ear, it very rarely shouts. That moment in time was one of the darkest moments I've had in my whole life. My motivation was out the door, like I just wanted to give up. I need you to be who you're supposed to be. Don't let nobody stop you from being who you're supposed to be. Don't let nobody out talk you. Don't let nobody tell you the doors are shut. Don't let nobody tell you that opportunities don't exist. Don't let nobody tell you that. I need you to be who you're supposed to be because when you are who you're supposed to be, you superhuman. I don't want to delude you because this is a career ending injury. Listen to me. You got fear and you got faith. And I've decided not to walk in fear, but to walk in faith. There's greatness in you. Are you hearing me? There's greatness in you. And you mean to tell me you're never going to reach your full potential? You mean to tell me you're never going to be what you've been called to be? That you're not going to do what you've been called to do because you are afraid? Some things don't come. They're just not going to come to you because you want it as bad as you want to breathe. You got to put up the dukes and you got to be willing to fight that thing out. They're not giving out success, but you can earn it. You can take it. I need you to take it. Don't let the distractions distract you. I would have never started skateboarding. So whatever you do, man, don't give up. Don't quit. Now listen to me closely. Just because you fail doesn't make you a failure. And when life hits you, then you gotta keep going. Just don't quit. In order to achieve greatness, you have to go through a lot of pain. You definitely have setbacks, but in order to achieve that success, you have to push through. If you hit an oak tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, what's gonna happen? Absolutely nothing. But if you hit an oak tree a thousand times in the exact same spot, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna bring it down. You're going to do the impossible. You're not only a special person created at a special time, you got something special inside of you. You have to believe that you can do something that nobody else has done. And somehow that concept has to become reality. You got greatness all inside of you, but your problem is you are a scaredy cat. You soft, and every time it get hard, you quit and you give up. And I'm telling you, if you would be willing to fight your way through it, if you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You got to fight your way through it. You got to fight the fear because guess what? Fear ain't bigger than you. If you're going to win the fight of your life, you can't be afraid to fight. What exactly was hurting on your body? I think my foot's broken and, and uh, my shoulder and my back, everything feels pretty broke right now. Um, the doctor tried to get me to not skate and I basically told him he's going to have to fight me. Are you going to be able to take your fourth and fifth run? I'm taking every run. How are you able to muster up the strength to even come back out here and then take another run? I don't know what it is since it lives inside me, but it's... There's a lot of determination. It's a fire that just keeps burning. Fear, you are not going to stop me. I got too far. I've come too far to give up now. You gotta believe in yourself, 
You gotta believe in your dream. You gotta believe one day it's gonna be your moment. One day you gonna own the moment. Listen to me, impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men. Right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You've gotten this far. If you was going to quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You got too far. You've come too far to quit now. Show me that nothing is impossible. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever, because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path, and that will make all the difference. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. You've got to find what you love, and that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. But you're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital Fear can age you, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. At the end of your feelings is nothing, but at the end of every principle is a promise. Behind your little feelings, it might not be absolutely nothing at the end of your little feelings, but behind every principle is a promise. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not at your goal right now, because you're just all about your feelings. You, you all on your feelings. You don't feel like waking up. So who does? Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you.
You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. Live your life with passion. With some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. The last chapter to your life has not been written yet and it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? This year I will make this goal become a reality. I won't talk about it anymore. I can. I can. I can. persevere I think is important for everybody don't give up don't give in there's always an answer to everything Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't. Want something? Go get it. Period. Don't be afraid to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You have to believe that something different can happen. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. That most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. 
Dig deep down, dig deep down, ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. Why not? Why can't I be the MVP of the league? Why can't I be the best player in the league? I don't see why. Why? Why can't I do that? the shit kicked out of us or we can fight our way back into the light we can climb out of hell one inch at a time to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired you quit I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. If you are not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Now if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point the finger saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now. I'm going to show you how great I am. The 17th chapter of St. Lucas is written, The kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Now, what are you going to do? Because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. <laughs>